welcome back to yet another video today is closet tour number three yes i'm bringing you number three we will have one more after this i thank you guys so much for your patience i have been extremely busy but i am going to um do the number four very very soon for you guys you won't have to wait that long because i do have an unboxing i want to show you guys so before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here you can also visit your girl on instagram at marquita lv luxury so i've done all the talking you guys know what to do go grab some wine grab some tea and a light snack hurry back so we can get started okay before i turn the camera around i'm going to do just a mini breakdown for you guys so you can understand today i'm going to go over my shelving unit here it's just um it was supposed to be a vanity but i don't wear makeup like that i do have the up light so the place that i hold my fragrance and my slgs and then i will go over a few of my drawers that are here so that will be number three today Number four, I will finish out my closet tour speaking on my back wall, my front wall. I will go over um, my pullout bandos and my belts in my sitting lounge area that is here. So that's going to wrap up the last video in my closet tour. So let's get the camera turned around and let's get started. Okay, let's hop right into the video, my loves. Here on the side, I do have a luxury canvas. You can purchase these on Amazon. Just put in the luxury brand that you prefer and it will come up. They range between the smaller ones, I will say between $10 and they can go all the way up to $300. I do have a larger LV trunk. As you guys saw in previous videos, that was like 200 and I think 70 some dollars. But I purchased this from a store here in Houston, a home decor store called At Home. I will leave the link in the description bar because they do have an online store. You can just put in whatever luxury brand you prefer and it'll come up. And I do just have it um, double taped here on the wall. So if I do decide to take it down and change out, I can. Okay, here I just have an empty LV fragrance container for decor. In the corner here, I have the mini LV fragrances, and I will show you later what I actually use these for. I haven't touched any of these as of now because I do have the sample sets that my CA leaves in my bags when I purchase um, these right here. So she does put these in my bag when I purchase. I'm going to show you what I use them for. I do have a previous video in detail. So I will briefly go over, but I won't go over the entire thing because this video would be entirely too long. Um, here, I just have some more decor that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's just pink bling diamonds here. And in the middle, this is a bling flower candle holder, but I just use it as a centerpiece. So nothing major guys, nothing big. Um, I just wanted something to fill this area and I just thought this was just the perfect setup. Okay, moving right along. Okay, my love, this is where I keep my SLGs. I purchased this acrylic uh, makeup holder. I believe it was from Ross or Marshall, but you can purchase these on Amazon. I have seen them on there. Um, to be honest, I do not like how I, how I have my SLGs. I actually am getting a cabinet built, a glass cabinet built specifically for my SLGs. I cannot wait till that is completed. It was, it's supposed to be done July 1st, but here on the top, this is where I hold my passport holder is the christmas edition i won't go over each slg because i will be here forever but here i have my key holders i have my trifecta thing going on here and here i have the valentine day edition key holder here 
okay? And the resto card holder. And I said I wouldn't go all over all of these, and guess what I'm doing? Going over all the SLGs. <laughs> okay, here, the beautiful Demary Zine Braza wallet. This is actually one of my favorite wallets. I have went over this in a previous video. It is hot stamped inside, and it holds up to 16 to 20 cards. And this is why I don't like it, because of that. Um here i have more wallets in the beautiful black umprint material and this is another key holder here okay so again um i'm not too pleased with how the slgs are um stored away but like i said i am working on it i'm getting something um built for it and i'm so excited about that okay so I am going to skip over the fragrances because I am going to go back over these. I'm going to do this last, okay? Okay, so I did the sidewall. I did my first set of SLGs. And I am moving along. Here I go. Okay, so this is the other side here. And here I have more of the uh, recto card holders. I did a video as stated on this as well. And this is in the beautiful rose ballerine pink and the cherry red. Okay, more card holders here. Do. I have way more SLGs than this, guys. I, my sister, I have some in my purses. I just have so many SLGs. I think altogether I have like 42 or 40, it's between 42 and 45. I stopped counting. Okay. And here I just use the miniature samples just here for decor. This is empty here. Okay. I just use these for decor, guys. So if you get these from your SA or CA, in your packages, just use them on the counter as decor, but I do have something in here as well. And as stated, I'll show you later what I use these sample fragrances for. And here in the corner, uh, my husband had bought this from me uh, from Glam Flower and it lasts 365 days. So I just have it here in the corner for decor. Okay, so guys, let me know in the comments. Like I said, it's very, very basic. Um, it's all in the details and what you add. And like I stated, this was supposed to be actually a vanity setup, but I don't wear makeup like that, guys. So um, I just decided to use this here um, as a little setup for my fragrances and my SLGs. Okay, so I'm going to go over the fragrances because you guys keep asking me. Um, I have nicknames for them all because if I pronounce it wrong, you guys are not going to laugh at me because I already laugh at myself. <laughs> so um, the ones that I do not know how to properly pronounce and I do not want to be disrespectful in any way, guys. So I'm going to try my best. I'm going to show you, um, well, basically tell you what and when I wear them and just give you just a little um, sense of how they smell to me okay so i'm going to start from the back which is one of my favorite this is the etoli like i said it before if i am pronouncing it wrong i do apologize but this is in my top favorite fragrances from lv guys if you do not have the etoli you are missing out i love it so much it smells so so good 
to me it's like a flowery scent it's like if that's a word um flowers and then it has like a little spice to it like i said i i love it so much and also guys when you get your fragrances have a ca or an sa hot stamp it i think that is so cool okay so this is the totally and it is one of my favorites in my top three okay and this is the sun song fate fragrance i only wear this to bed guys wear this to bed your husband will give you his whole paycheck his for his 401k his savings account everything in his wallet okay <laughs> just try it my husband loves this fragrance so so much so i wear this to bed only i do not wear it during the day after the shower spray it around your neck on your wrist um guys it's a sunflower scent like i said my husband loves it so if you want that new guy to propose to you just put this on at night and hey you'll wake up married in the morning okay so <laughs> the next one is a trappy reeves guys this grew on me this fragrance actually grew on me i love it so much when i tell you it's you can tell that i'm starting to use it now this was actually full um, I purchased this because I heard so many people rant about it. Hey, it's their favorite. So I decided to get it. When I first purchased, I didn't like the scent. And for some reason, it just it just grew on me. So I would say this is number two. It totally being number one. And this is number two. A Trappy Reeves. I love it so much. And again, it is hot stamped. Okay, I do not know how to pronounce this one, so I call it Lee. Um, this scent as well is growing on me. As you can see, I don't use it as much. I just actually started using it, and I fell in love with it as well. And let me see, what do I think about it? Um, it is, it's kind of sweet to me. And all of them have like a sweet little spice to it. It has like a little flower scent um but this one it smells amazing as well but like i said i was so stuck on the etoli and the atrapi reeves but i am giving this one a chance so i have sprayed it a little but i will get more use out of it but it's not bad every fragrance that i have i would not have it if i didn't like it okay because i did try the cat it was one it's a cactus scent I was like, oh, no way. That was the worst I've ever smelled. It was, it's like a green, in a green bottle, a green spray, and it's something with cactus. I don't remember the name, but it was horrible. So I did not purchase. I'm real big on my fragrance. So this is the, the Lee. So if you know how to pronounce this one, you know how to come. I have a young lady that also helps me, that comes in my DM. So guys, like I said, I do apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. But I call this one Lee, a Trappy Reese, and I know I'm not pronouncing that one correct either, Sun Song, and then in the back, I have my favorite, the Etoli, okay? Moving right along. Okay, the California Dream, I do not use it that much at all. Um, I actually purchased two. And guys, you're, <laughs> I purchased two because I wanted the case. <laughs> the case that it come in, I love it. It is so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. So yes, that was a crazy reason to purchase two. But I did purchase two. Um, And I do use it in the summertime. It is for me a summer fragrance. It's like a citrus and then a spice. Um, fragrance I do like it but it's not like in my top as you can see I don't use it as much but I will be using it this summer and my husband does not like this fragrance at all so my husband does not like the California dream at all but it's like an okay I would rate it probably a six out of ten it's not bad okay here in the front as you can see I use this 
so much. This was actually my first LV fragrance to purchase. And I call this Rose. And it smells to me just like a rose. I love it. Oh, my gosh. As you can see, you can tell I love it so much. Oh, man, yeah, guys, this smells good. So if you don't have this in your LV fragrance collection, you are missing out big, big time. I love it so much. Okay, so, so far I have went over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I will need to go and take this to get refilled soon. And here I just have a pink flower decor that's sitting, guys. It's nothing taped to it. It's nothing uh, glued to it. I just have it sitting here just for decor, as you can see. Okay, this is the um, next fragrance that's in my top since this is the Apogee, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. As you can see, I do use this a lot and I do have it hot stamped. Um, when I purchased the rose, I didn't know anything about hot stamping the fragrance bottles, but um, I started hot stamping and I do love it on here. So this is the Poji. As you can see, I do use this a lot as well. Just like the Rose Scent, the Poji smells so good. Oh my God, it's amazing. Yeah, it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe this fragrance, um, but it does have like a flower scent to it. So most definitely, if you don't have the Poji, if you don't have the Rose, go out and get it. A Trappy, Etoli. Um, this should be, like I said, only at nighttime. Um, and I'm not telling you that you have to purchase this only for bedtime, but for me, it works. I get whatever out of my husband when I have it on. So, <laughs> okay, next, um, I call this CB because I don't know how to pronounce it. So help me out guys. Um, this as well is growing on me. I love it. Love it. Love it. Now, um, this is a, a bad little booger here, guys. Um, this fragrance is so calm. Um, it doesn't give off a lot of spice. It's so, like I said, it's still sweet. I absolutely love it as well, but it's not in my top fragrance, but it is, like I said, growing on me as well. As you can see, I have started using it. Um, and I don't know why guys, I use this when I wear white. I don't know what it is. If I wear something white, I spray this on. I'm not sure what the connection is, but I always find myself, if I'm wearing anything white, I am going towards this fragrance. Not sure, like I said, but I do. Okay, my HD fragrance. As you can see, I have been using this baby a lot. Um, I believe this was my second fragrance after the rose. This was my second fa fragrance after the rose. As you can see, I don't have it hot stamped because I wasn't into that yet. I didn't know anything about it, but I love this smell so much. I used to wear this. I used to go back and forth with this fragrance, with the HD and the Rose. Every day, I used to go back and forth, back and forth. And it is, it's a sweet flower smell. Um, I love it. And I also want to go over which one lasts the longest on me. The uh, Trappy Reeves lasts for me all day. The Etoli, oh my gosh, it lasts all day. And even when I come back into my room, come back into my closet, the fragrance smell is still there. And the Epoji lasts a long time. The Rose Scent does not, for me, doesn't last a long time. And I hate that because I absolutely love this fragrance. So the Epoji, the HD the Atrapi, and the Etoli. The Etoli, for me, lasts all day. All day. Even when I come back into my room, the scent is still there. So that's just a heads up for you guys. Okay, in the back, I have the On the Beach. This is a spicy citrus scent. Um, as you can see, I do uh, wear this from time to time, but out of the California Dream, and the on the beach, I will most definitely say the on the beach. I get asked that a lot. I would say my least favorite in my collection, and I wouldn't say least because I still, the fragrance is okay. It's not just bad. 
I would say the California Dream would probably be my last option. Or the last one for me that I will pick up out of my collection. So I do have one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to count this as one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten here in my collection. If you want to count both, it will be eleven. Okay. And I just have this sit, sitting in a bling tray here. And I think I purchased this from Ross some years ago. It's just a glass bling tray. And as stated, these are just empty containers that came with the California Dream fragrance spray. And here, I went over this with you guys in a recent video. This inside is actually an LV bag that is framed. So I took this to Hobby Lobby and I had this framed in a custom frame that I picked out. It took them four weeks. And guys, I absolutely love it sitting here, right here in the middle as a centerpiece. So if you receive any bags or you can reach out to an SA because my CA actually sent these to me. Um, I didn't even, well, I think I purchased something and they were inside the bag. She knows that I love to get these and frame them. So I absolutely love her for that. Okay, guys. So I went over everything here that's on my counter. And like I said, I just call this my vanity setup. And it's not a vanity, but I call it my vanity setup. So as stated, I told you every thing here where you can purchase um if i do have links for you guys i will leave it in the description bar for you guys to purchase as stated um i do see a lot of people that use these acrylic makeup holders for me i just feel like the slg should be displayed better because they are absolutely gorgeous so um i do have another display that i'm getting built and i will go over that and i will share once i um receive it Okay, guys, so tell me what you think. Okay, so moving right along. Okay, guys, so I am going to go over what I actually hold in some of my drawers here. Um, of course, the bling bling candle that I absolutely love. And let's open up. And here is my setup that I have here for my keychains, my key charms. Um, some of my bracelets are in here. I'm not a big jewelry person, so you won't see a lot of jewelry. I lose jewelry very fast. If I don't have it in my ears, if I don't have it around my neck, um, and I just have my wedding ring. <laughs> I'm not big on jewelry like that, okay? So here I do have the locket earrings. I haven't I haven't worn these yet. Um, I don't even know why I have these guys, but they're here. As you can see, the tag's still on there. I haven't worn them yet. Um, I'll get to them. <laughs> I'll get to them. And here is where I keep my middle piece chains. This are, these are the chains that I keep in the middle of my bags, like my speedies. Um, I absolutely love them. Okay. And let me put them here so you guys can see. Okay. And so I keep them right here. And I have my key charms that I have. My macarons here. And I do have a LV tag bracelet here. I don't even think I I think I've worn this twice, guys. And my daughter actually have the necklace to match. So nine times out of ten, she'll come back for the bracelet because I don't wear the bracelet at all. I'm just right now, um, just too many issues with uh LV jewelry that I have experienced. Um, just the fading of the gold, and I just feel like I paid too much. For it, so I actually just stopped. And my husband, he doesn't want me purchasing any more LV jewelry at all, guys. But every time I sent one back, they did 
send a brand new one so i do appreciate them but i just got kind of tired of spending the money and having to send the items back um here in the back i can slide this here in the back is where i keep my long chains my for toe straps and for the front decor of my bags and so whenever i want to use one if it's not already on my bag i just come here okay so i can slide this back here and more key charms i purchased this from amazon you guys know i love the pink and i love the bling and here is the silver silver eiffel tower key charm and another lv key charm here And I hardly wear these. I used to wear them a lot on my bags, but I don't wear them as much anymore. Okay. Okay, and I have another one here. And this goes um, absolutely gorgeous with my V-Tote BB that I have in the monogram and rose ballerine pink. Okay, these are the rings that I take off all of the, um, as you can see, the key charms. I don't like to keep the key rings on there, so I take them off and I just hold them here just in case I do need them for something else. Okay, had this beauty here. As you can see, I took the key ring off as well. And so I use this um, on my Neverfull by the pool, the pink that I have in my collection. And sometimes I do add it to other, um, I do add it on other bags if I need to. And these are extenders. I purchased these from Amazon, they're not LV. And I don't even like this key charm. I just purchased it because it was pink. I haven't even used it yet. As you can see, I still have the key ring on here. But I don't like it. I don't know why, but it's in here. Okay. And this is where I keep my wedding ring after I get out the shower. I just put my wedding ring right here. And this is the key charm from the Game On Collection. And these are some hooks here that I purchased from Amazon. More bag charms. You guys know I love pink. So I purchased this from Amazon here. And this is a necklace that I purchased from Express. Here is a choker. And this is an LV chain. I took it off of my double zip pochette. And I just have it in here just in case I need to use it on an SLG that I'm converting. It's just here. And this is my pearl and gold chain from Swag My Bag Collections. Um, you can have these as totes. I use this on my Nano Speedy. If I decide to carry her as a tote and it looks amazing if you want to use it as a centerpiece like these chains here you can also use this as well here is more key charms from swag my bag collection and the pearl extender and here I just have my cross necklace here and like i said i don't wear jewelry like that and here's a bracelet um that i have here in here my 
brother-in-law passed away so i keep it in here and i wear it from time to time and i have two lv bracelets here And I have one on my wrist. And like I said, as you can see, it does fade. You know? That's why I'm not just too fond of the LV jewelry like that. And here, um, I love pink. And when I took the kids to Kalahari, it's like a little um, water park game arcade place. And so, I love the color pink. And so, I saw this and I purchased it. And I stole this key charm here. This, I would say, from my husband a while ago. He doesn't even know it's in here. But it's so adorable. I love the pink colors. And for some reason, LV always does the best with the men collection. Um, you guys know I don't really like silver hardware. But um, it's here. I stole it from my husband. And he's been looking for it. And I haven't said anything. <laughs> So whenever I decide to pop out with it, he's going to know exactly where it is. I love this little baby here. As you can see, the tag is still on there and I will be taking this key ring off. Um, he purchased this just to wear on the outside of his jeans. He does have the bum bag to match. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, and look, the perfect place for it, it fits perfect. That's why it belongs to me. Okay, so this is the first area. Like I said, this was basically um, made to hold jewelry, but I'm not a jewelry person like that. And so um, I have my key charms and my, um, my chains and tote straps here. And the felt here, like when I tell you guys, I use a lint roller. This, it, I'm telling you, it holds lint. It catches lint. I don't even know how. And I keep this closed all the time. So I have to constantly, constantly clean it out. It just collects lint a lot. So that's the only thing I hate about it. And I'm also getting this color changed out to pink. My husband said I should leave it black, um, but I want it to be pink. Okay, so that is the first drawer. Okay, so moving right along. Bling candle. Opening up here. This is where my larger bag um, charms, bag tags are. I keep them over here. And my puff balls, I have an area for those. So I have three. And this is where I keep them. Here. And these are actually bracelets. This is the bum bag bracelet here. And this is the, um, the mini backpack bracelet here. And this is another large bag charm. I believe this came out in with the Christmas collection, 2020 Christmas collection here. And I actually took this off of what bag? I forgot what bag this came with, but I took it off of there. Um, this as well. So most of these come on my bags. I think the Felici Strap and Go. And I forgot which one this came off of. But this is another large tag that came from the Game On collection here. And this one as well. Here's another one. And I think this came off of my mini... Um, or it was a belt. I forgot, guys. But I take them off um, because I don't like for them just to hang on the belt or on the bag strap like that. I'm not sure why. But I like to just preserve and keep everything just nice and new. When I hand these down to my daughter, I want these to be in the best condition as possible. another one and again this is silver hardware i don't even know why i purchased this but i did and it and it's here i think i purchased this to go on my saffron the neo noe but i did not forgot about the silver and so for me i don't like the silver and the gold to clash that's just me and the key ring is still on there 
2020 Christmas edition here. And you guys know why I purchased this. You see that beautiful pink. And this beautiful, this is a beautiful Kirigami um, bag charm here. And this came off of the off one of my belts, my LV belts. I forgot the name of it, but here it is. And here is the little loop to put the belt through, the LV belt through. And this is the Dolphin Key charm here. And I am really getting to the Dolphin print, guys. I really am. I'm not sure what's going on, but I am. This is, of course, you know, my favorite. This is the reverse bag charm here. I absolutely love this guy so much. And I have these beauties sitting here together. This beautiful pink. I love wearing this with the fuchsia on the go PM tote. It's perfect. Perfect colors. And my beautiful puppy charm here. I love the pink on the cheek and the little LV flower. Okay, and this is the crafty bag uh, charm, bag tote, um, bag charm, I'm sorry. The bag charm, um, I don't really like the crafty collection that much. I do have the speedy. Um but I do love the back side more than the front. <laughs> and this is just an M. My daughter gave this to me for my birthday. So it's just an M key charm that I sometimes wear with my Neo Noe or on my Speedy. Okay, the M stands for Marquita. Okay. Okay, so moving on down to the uh, next drawer. Okay, next drawer here. Um, this is where I keep my shades, my sunglasses here. And this spray here, um, when I used to wear my mask, this stopped the like defogging of my shades. I used to hate that so much when I wore my mask and my sunglasses. Um, you just spray this on and wipe it down and your sunglasses won't be fogged. Okay, and I am missing so many because I have some in my car. I have some in my purse. Um, and I actually, I steal these from my husband. <laughs> these I purchased from Amazon. I absolutely love them. I did a video on these. Also purchased from Amazon. And these are from LV. And these are from LV. And these are from Amazon. Here is a cigarette holder. I do not smoke, but I used to carry this. I used to put my lip gloss in it. In here. I used to put my lip gloss in here. Um, I don't use it anymore because I do have a cosmetic bag or I put it in my the lip gloss and my mini pochette. So I just have it sitting in here. I believe this is a collect uh, collectible item. It's no longer sold anymore. So I just keep it in here and whatever my daughter wants to do with it, she can. Okay, in here guys, let's go back up to the sample perfumes. This is where I keep, let's see if I can get this open. Awesome. This is where I keep some of the sample sprays that my CA sends to me. I keep them in here. And as you can see, this funnel here, I showed you guys before. Like I said, I have a, a video on this. This is what I use with the sample fragrances here. The sample fragrances. I actually just take them and open up the top, open up the top part. And I use this funnel and I put them in here so I can take them with me. Let's see if I can get this open. And here it is. So I use these sample fragrances. I can take one out. Come on. 
Okay, so I use the sample fragrances. I take this top off and I just use this funnel. I put the funnel on the top here. I'm trying to get it together for you guys. And I take the top off here and I put the funnel on top and I pour this inside, okay? And like I said, I have a video on it, but I just wanna show you guys why I love the sample fragrances. I haven't used any from my collection yet because I still have a few of these that my CA already sent to me, okay? I'll put this back over here. Okay, so let's get this closed and I'll set that back up later. Let's keep going with the video. In this drawer, this is where I basically, oh, I hate that this isn't folded right, but um, it needs to be turned this way. Yes, guys, I'm a little bit of OCD here. This is where um, I come in whenever I'm ready to do one of my videos. I just grab one of my shirts out of here and me a pair of nice jeans, guys, and or some tights, and I am good to go. So this is um, basically set just for Marquita LV luxury shirts only. Okay, and my other drawer, because we went over this one already, and going down to my other drawer, this is where I have um, my shirts, my throw-on shirts. I love wearing jeans, guys. These are my throw-on shirts. Some of these I purchased from Walmart, some of them Forever 21. Um, I love these throw on Walmart shirt guys. I absolutely love them. They're here when I need them. I like to keep them in here. I do have a few from Fashion Nova as well, but this is where I keep my throw on shirts. Okay. Next drawer. This is where I just keep my shorts folded, my throw on shorts. Um, I love like hooping shorts because I used to play basketball. I love um, just some Walmart shorts here. Guys, when I tell you I'm very plain and simple unless I'm getting ready to dress up. I just have my shorts rolled up here. My shorts, I have these. I actually made these guys. Okay. These are just some plain black Walmart short guys. And I don't wear shorts that much. So when I do wear them, hey, they're here folded up for me. This is only like half of my clothes, guys. I have clothes like just everywhere. Like I said, everywhere. Um, I wasn't going to go over this shit because I don't want the video to be too long. But as you can see, guys, I have pink hangers and where I have my belt. So that will probably be video number four. So I will go over all of this, but I just wanted to go over my fragrances today and how I have everything set up here on my little vanity. Like I said, I call it my vanity um, set up and just a few of my drawers, how I keep things situated, my other phone. Um, so guys, like I said, very simple, but detailed like I like. So let me know in the comments this is video number three i will end with video number four i will go over my grass wall and show you guys how to do it i will go over my bandos and i will go over my belt and that will complete um video number four okay guys i hope you enjoy video number three of my closet tour i have one more video i'm hoping i can cram all of that in in 30 minutes uh probably an hour but it is going to end my closet tour with number four i will try to get that video up asap because as i stated i do have an unboxing i want to share with you guys before i head back to vegas and i am going to try to start vlogging so that's going to be fun so guys thank you so much for tuning in if you have any questions leave them in the comments below as stated, anything that I have here that I purchased from Amazon or any online store, I will have it in the description. As always, guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to visit me on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.